This video is about how to remote desktop from Windows 7 to Linux Mint 16 Cinnamon. It also works for Windows 8 to Linux Mint 16, but that's not shown. The high level overview of this video is that it uses the XRDP server on a Linux computer. Now using the X RDP server to remote desktop from Windows to Linux requires that the Linux computer have a 2D desktop or two-dimensional desktop. Both Ubuntu and Linux Mint use a 3D desktop. Unity for Ubuntu and Cinnamon for Linux Mint. In order for the XRDP server to work it is necessary to either force Cinnamon to fall back to a 2D desktop or install a 2D desktop on top of Cinnamon. This video will demonstrate both the fallback 2D desktop for Cinnamon and the install of an XFCE desktop on top of Linux Mint 16 Cinnamon. The outcomes for this video would be to set desktop preferences to allow sharing, install the XRDP server, check the XRDP server log for error messages, install a tight VNC server. You can pick a different VNC server if you wish. Repair the Mint 16 fallback desktop from the D keyboard bug. If that's all you need to do, you can just turn the video off there. But if you want to go on to install an XFCE4 desktop, you can. And then configure the XFCE4 desktop to run with XRDP server and verify the operation of a remote desktop from Windows 7 to Linux Mint 16 computer. It's also, like I said, it also works with Windows 8, but it's not shown. Requirements would be an internet connection, a Windows 7 and Linux Mint 16 cinnamon desktops running on the same LAN, local area connection, administrative privileges on the Linux Mint 16 cinnamon desktop. Additional info, there's the XRDP uh, open source remote desktop protocol server homepage. Linux Mint forums give a lot of information about the remote desktop or give some information. One Ubuntu source I found to be very informative is how to install XRDP in Ubuntu 13.10. Disclaimer, while this video demonstrates an actual install of XRDP and setting up the two desktops, I can't fully verify this will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. I found some inconsistencies between the Cinnamon desktop and the XFCE desktop and unfortunately I have not used the Cinnamon XFCE desktop enough to verify that I can detail all the inconsistencies. If you wish you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. On my left I have a Windows 7 computer and on my right I have a Linux Mint 16 Cinnamon desktop. And the first step in getting this uh, Windows computer to use remote desktop protocol to get to the Linux Mint computer is to go to Linux Mint computer, pull up the menu, go to preferences and then desktop sharing. And then we click right here allow other users to view your desktop. Click close. Then we're going to install the XRDP server which opens up an X window. So we have to use sudo apt get install XRDP. And it installs and just for your information this is a fresh newly minted install of Linux 16 and but the Windows machine is an old one I've had around for a while. So that's installed. So let's get an IF config and it says the IP address is 168.1.31. So let's go here, do a remote desktop connection put in 31, 192.168.1.31, click connect, yes, username and password of the Cinnamon 
or the Mint 16 cinnamon computer. Click OK. Now it says error problem connecting. Let's take a look at a certain file here. sudo tail var log xrdp dash ses and dot log. Oh, I hit the dot instead of the slash for some reason. It's watching the screen instead of the uh, doing a the keyboarding error. They're right next to each other. So it says another X server is already active on display 10. Essentially what this means is that there's no VNC server for the X window so I'm going to have to do a and you can pick which one to install and I'm going to pick tight VNC server but there are others that you can you know you can check your own so that's install sudo yeah, I'm sorry sudo service xrdp restart so it's restarted so then I'm going to come back over here to the remote desktop server and this time I get a connection and it says you want to restart cinnamon click no and this is uh, uh, the GNOME session flashback or fallback session. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. And as you can see, it looks a lot different. We've got the applications here. So I'm going to pick one application here that I know is going to not work correctly. Utilities, and I'm going to go to Terminal. And if I type in a D, the terminal disappears. So that's an error with this two-dimensional desktop. I'm going to clone this computer on the right. I'm going to go back to the Cinnamon RDP01, Cinnamon Remote Desktop Protocol 01. I'm going to clone it, and then I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. On the original one, I'm going to install an alternate desktop that might look a little bit cleaner. Let me exit here from the video and then when I come back I will have a clone Cinnamon RDP01 clone running to fix that D key problem. Here I have the Cinnamon RDP01 clone running. I'm going to fix the D keyboard problem for the Cinnamon desktop fallback session that you get when you do a remote desktop. When I install the XFCE desktop this won't affect that so that's why I'm doing this on the clone. So in order to fix this D problem, I'm going to install an editor apt-get D uh, apt-get install dconf editor Once it's installed, I'm just going to go to uh, start using it. The conf editor. And I'm going to go to org. Open that up. Gnome. Open that up. Desktop. Open desktop up. WM key bindings. I'm going to go down here to show desktop. Right click in here. Well, right click down here at the end or somewhere. And delete that. So I play around with the right click to get it to the right point. And, but anyway, I'm going to put in two brackets. 
So basically empty that, hit enter, and then go ahead and close this. Now just sudo service xrdp restart. And let me do an IF config just to make sure I've got the right IP address for this one. This one is at 32. So I go, because it's a clone, 32, it's got a different one here. I click connect and yes. Username and password. And again, do you want to restart? We will say no here. And this time when I go to applications, if I've done everything right, if I go to the terminal, I can type in as many D's as I want and I won't have the problem. Well, let me type in a real command. So that's the D problem solved. And this solution is only for this you know, fallback desktop. It's not for the XFC desktop I'm going to install in the next section. In this section of the video I'm going to install the XFCE desktop and then configure it so that the XRDP Windows Manager or X Windows Manager can present it to my Windows 7 desktop. So in order to do that I'm going to open up a terminal I'm going to just sudo apt get install mint dash meta dash xfce password and ask do you want to continue put in a y for yes now one thing I want to point out is that I did try this with just plain XFCE but I found that I had a problem with the terminal and even with the mint meta XFCE you're going to see that the terminal will actually change on the original mint desktop after installing this. Now that uh, XFCE is installed I have to create a file called .x session so that XRDP manager can or actually so that mint will follow directions in that file when it ever an X Windows session is open. So in order to do that I'll say echo which means basically anything that comes after echo is going to go somewhere or whatever you see on this screen XFC4 dash session and close that in quotes then direct that with that arrow to a file called dot X session. Now this file is not created yet and you should be in the home directory when you're doing this. Hit enter. Now let's check this out and the text editor I prefer to use is called Vim. V -I -M. And it's not installed in Mint by default so I'm just going to install it. Dash Y install Vim. The dash Y is simply there so I don't have to enter the yes. Okay, once the text editor is installed, I'll go vo open that X session file dot X session. And I could use cat or tail or something like that. And there it is. And if you want to make some changes there, you hit I for insert and then escape to get back. And then to get out of here, I just hit a colon after hitting the escape and the Q. If you want to keep your changes you put in WQ for right quit. So it's there. So the next thing I want to do is find out my uh, IP address again. And this time it's 192.168.1.33. So I'm going to go to remote desktop connection. one thirty three click yes
and this is the remote desktop session from the Windows. I'm going to use default config, close here, and if I scroll all the way down you'll see that I've got menu here and then I've also got an applications menu up here of pretty much everything that's uh, in the, over here that's in the Mint. And all the programs will work if I go to multimedia, well, let's see, where's Office? Office will work. LibreOffice will work. And as far as I know, pretty much everything will work, but there may, I haven't checked it out 100%. Now, one thing here on the terminal emulator, you'll see it's got this terminal, and that's the black terminal that I, I was using over here in Mint. So if I type in D now, I don't have any problems. If I do a DF, this is the actual uh, what's mounted on Mint, or the actual file system and what's available on Mint. And I could play around with this some more and verify that it works, but uh, it, it does. But there's one thing I want to point out here. If I go to Menu and I actually log out of here, And I'm going to log out. And then I look over here. See, it's got an XFCE session. And if I log in right now, well, I could even, let, let me close this other terminal, the uh, desktop connection. I'm going to close it. I'm just going to show you what happens if you log in right now. Click OK. And you'll see you get to an XFC desktop. But what you're going to have to do is log out. Just log out is all you need to do. And you come over here and make sure that Cinnamon is picked. and then log in. And then you can make it the default. I'm going to close this here. And now when I open up my terminal, you'll see that it got changed by adding the XFCE desktop. So that's pretty much it for uh, installing both of these 2D desktops demonstrated how to get them both installed and both working.